ground zero. The point on the Earth's surface directly below a detonating bomb. In all of our lives, days come when we feel as though we are in the epicenter of utter devastation. We intellectually assent to the idea of God when life is pleasant. But when the bomb drops, our throbbing hearts are not so sure. Perplexed and in the throes of excruciating pain, we wonder, how could a loving God let this happen? Why this? Is he in control? Does he care? The decimated landscape of our lives tempts us to resign ourselves to bitterness and despondency. But what if we are being deceived? What if the anguish and evil we experience is not random chaos? What if hard times are but dark tiles in a masterful mosaic? What if these bomb blasts are being orchestrated to create something beautiful? That'd be ironic. I want to share with you a story from my life in which a once cherished dream was blown to oblivion in an instant. It's a story of love lost, a crisis of faith, grappling with grief, living in the past, trauma triggers, trusting God, forgiven, moving on, and new love. And ultimately, I hope to paint a dark backdrop in front of which God's astounding ability to heal and work awful things for good will shine. And never was it shown more poignantly than at the cross. In light of all of this, I give you ironic